Far from Venezuela lies some of its most prized riches. 31 tons of the country's gold is held here in the vaults of the Bank of England for safekeeping. Now there's a legal battle over who can access it. President Nicolás Maduro or opposition leader Juan Guaidó. Maduro says he needs the bullion to help fund the country's crumbling healthcare system during the coronavirus pandemic. However, attempts by Venezuela's central bank to access the gold began two years ago, just after Maduro won a contested election. The Bank of England never released it, and then said last year it would recognize Juan Guaidó as the interim president, not Maduro. Despite that, Maduro's lawyers say that diplomatic actions since had shown Britain still recognized him as Venezuela's leader. Well, ineffectively, we have recognized that the Maduro government is a de facto government. De facto means he's actually in control, running the state. For example, the BCV, the central bank, were my client. The president's name appears on the, on the currency note. He has an office. The ad hoc board has no office in Venezuela. They say somewhere in Washington. Why those lawyers said the bullion is his to control, as the British government and more than 50 others around the world said they would recognize him as interim president. However, Guaido's attempts to create a transitional government have been unsuccessful. There's questioning over Maduro's capacity and transparency in dealing with humanitarian aid. And I think that's also one of the main problems, not only in terms of legitimacy, but also in terms of the convenience to transfer those funds uh, to that administration. Sanctions and mismanagement have crippled Venezuela's economy and triggered a humanitarian crisis. Lawyers say the gold reserves amount to about 15% of its much-needed foreign currency reserves. The case is set for another three days and could set an important precedent in relation to other frozen Venezuelan assets around the world and just who gets access to it. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.